and this is a surprise broadcast. My name is Alma Duncan. I am a corporate trainer, business coach, and founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. Today, I have the privilege of interviewing one of the most fabulous and consistent women I've had the privilege of working with um, during my group coaching for startups. She's agreed to come on with me live to have a conversation about, you know, business, um, inspiration to start, um, working with me, and, you know, what she's doing. So her name is Mame Kunama Panford Bafo, um, and I'm going to bring her onto the screen right now so she can introduce herself, and you'll see, she's, she's just so fabulous. Hi. Hello, ladies. Good it's day. Good Thank you here. so much. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's good to have you. Thank you so much for agreeing to have this conversation with me today. I've been looking oh. forward to this, actually. So, Mami, let's start by you telling us about yourself. No, actually, I prefer to call you Pamford. I, I can't believe I said Mami. So, Pamford, tell us about yourself, please. Okay, so shortly, I think that I am a born entrepreneur and I say so because growing up, both parents were entrepreneurs. Mm. So I saw them do it. I saw them build businesses and then be successful. And I knew I wanted also to follow the same path mm. when I grew up. And um, so that's the reason I'm an entrepreneur today. Okay. so. Let me just get that. So you are an entrepreneur because you saw it. You were born into it. Definitely. You were probably an entrepreneur right from your stomach, from your mother's stomach. Like if you have been prepared for it. Okay, go on. You can say so, Amma. Yes. So that has been my 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 greatest motivation to do what I do. So um, if I I should tell you about about myself, I always prefer to say that. I am someone who impacts lives positively. Mm. And I do that when I'm present and also in my absence. That's good. That's and very that's, good. that's all I can say. That's yeah. what I do. Yeah, that's good. And tell us about your family. Oh, okay. You want to and know? You live and, you know. Okay, so I'm, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and then I have two sons. And yes, this is my family, my nuclear family. Yeah. And we live in the Netherlands. So we live in Holland. And yes, this is our home for now. For now. I like that, for now. So there's a possibility that Ghana can be your next home. Very definitely, soon. definitely. <laughs> Okay, thank you for sharing that about yourself. Oh, wait, I need to get a hobby. You need to get a copy. A hobby, your hobby. Oh, okay, I so I think at the moment, because it keeps changing, <laughs> um, I love to jog outside. Okay. So mm -hmm. where I live, it's at the moment we are below, um, our temperature is is below. Um, how do I say? It? It's we are in the minus, so it's very minus, very cold. Yeah. Mm, mm. But I'm still motivated to jog early in the morning. Wow! In the snow, in the cold, you know, on a rainy day, I still enjoy it, and I, it has I'm become part of my routine. I'm so having a headache. If I don't Just do it, it. My day hasn't started. Oh my god! And you know. I think it's it's like it it it's a good start for the day because when I get out there, do you know what? I still meet people. I meet old mm. people, people with their whole hair gray. They are still jogging. Jogging. Wow. People above seventy years, they are still jogging. So it's all possible. Yeah, it so is. So that's my hobby at the moment. Jogging. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell us about your business or your businesses. Okay, I think that. In this contest, I would love to share. I I I um I have many businesses, but in this contest, I will share about my virtual assistant's business. And this business was 
birth not long ago. Before that, I, I, I owned a company, which I still own, a travel company called African Culture Trip. And as you have all witnessed, because of COVID, the travel, um, the travel world is, is, is um, at a halt. Yeah. So I thought about it and I said to myself, mommy, how can you pivot at this point? Because, um, yeah, travel is not bringing any income home. Mm. So I look at my skill sets and I also talk to a few uh, mentors and also my accountability partner. Mm. We deliberated and then um, they were able to tell me what they think I'm good at. Mm. I also share with them what I can do. And then we came to a conclusion as to what I can better start at the moment. And that's the reason I started my virtual assistance business. And what's I, the name of the business? It is called it is called VA Buffo. VA Buffo. So tell us what you do for okay. other people. So what we do is that um um, we are very passionate about bringing businesses online to make businesses very visible and active mm -hmm. online. Yeah. So yep. looking at the current period, I think that it's very wise for every business to be spotted online and remain yep. visible to their audience. So that is what we do. That is our foremost, um, uh, the, the, the main thing that we do. So what we do is that um, depending on a, co a company's um business and what they do their services we uh, we bring them online through creating platforms that will make them visible okay so like so facebook instagram they, that, yes. and website too yes we do websites as well we create mm. uh, we build we develop websites and we manage them as well mm. and then we also write content wow and then depending wow, on your job <laughs> <laughs> Depending on your geographical area, we do manage, um, we do customer service as, as well. Okay. So we receive um, calls from your clients and then we, we talk to them and meet their needs. That's fabulous. And we also manage emails. So if you, you want your, oh, wow. <laughs> we get into your emails, we answer emails and then we make sure that your inbox is always at zero. <laughs> Wow, that's yes. that's impressive. I mean, uh, you you're talking about things that people actually need, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, and the great thing about being a virtual assistant is you don't even have to be close to the person you are serving, you know. Not at all. Um, this is online, so you are sitting in the Netherlands. The person mm -hmm. can be in Boise or in the U.S. or wherever. And so this is this is really amazing. Thank you. Thank so, you as well. Um, you started this by looking at your skill sets and all that, and then you, you decided this is it. How, how is it going so far since you started this business? Uh, so far, very good. Um, I think I have, a, I have a, a few clients all over the world. And also, I, I, I'm, I'm at, on my game. So what I mean to say is that I keep sending out proposals and then calling people to tell them what I I do hmm. so that maybe if somebody needs my services, they can always contact me. So it's going okay. pretty well. Okay. So last year I had the privilege of working with you um, during the group coaching for startups. You were actually in the first cohort. So that was August, September or July, August. I forget now. Mm. Um, tell me what, what led to you deciding that you wanted to be part of the first cohort of group coaching for startups. Okay, okay. I think that this is the climax of the conversation because everything that I'm doing now but, uh, is related mostly to meeting Amma Duncan. Oh, because God, you know. <laughs> she has really helped me a lot mm -hmm. in this entrepreneurship game. So I called Amma uh, around, yes, I think it was, um, let me see, it was around in June. Mm -hmm. That is, that's what was my first call to you. So uh, I chanced upon your book, which was gifted to be to me by your brother. Mm -hmm. And then I read it. 
I read it because I needed to take a break from writing my master's thesis, which was mm. giving me a lot of stress. Mm. So I read the book and I said, and then I think I posted it on my status. And then your brother said, saw it and said, where do you know my sister? <laughs> and I said, have you forgotten you gave me this book? <laughs> and then immediately he sent me your number that I should mm. contact you. Mm. And then that's the reason I called Amma and I called Amma to be very honest with you because I was very, very frustrated. I was struggling finishing my thesis. I had a deadline, I think at the end of the week and it was not falling into place. Mm. <laughs> so, and at the point I was also having, um, I, my travel company was also operating mm. and I didn't have the clarity on how to navigate it. Mm. So I was stuck in both areas. School, I was stuck. Mm. Business-wise, I was stuck. Oh dear. And then I called Amma just to talk about it. And as soon as I sent her messages, she said, oh, I have 45 minutes. Let's go get on the phone and talk mm -hmm. for free. You know, <laughs> that's, that's, that's impressive. So we got on the phone and I poured my heart to this lady who didn't even have anything to do with my problems. <laughs> she gave me the listening ear and then encouraged me to join the fabulous woman community. Yeah. Okay. I said, okay. So I did it immediately. I didn't wait, which is very key. Mm. And then I joined the community and then I saw all the like-minded woman, uh, women. And there were a few videos that I watched, a, very, a lot of informative videos giving tips and then uh, about how to navigate your business. So that is where I started from. And then from there, I was still communicating with Amma. And then uh, through that, I was following her on Facebook as well. So she was sharing and giving free information all the time as to how to navigate your business, um, how to manage it and giving tips. And then in one of her videos, um, she shared that if you need help with um, or coaching as to how you can um, navigate your business, you can sign up with her and join a group of like-minded women who uh, have also set up their business so that we can brainstorm together, come up with ideas, and then help us to reach our goals. Mm. And it didn't take a minute for me to sign up. <laughs> I knew there and then that I needed to join this group of ladies mm -hmm. spearheaded by Amma Duncan's consultancy. So that is the reason I joined the group coaching session. Wow. This Amma Duncan sounds like a fabulous child of God. <laughs> Definitely. She is the one. Yeah. She does the magic. To God be the glory. So tell me... Um, you haven't been in the first group. Obviously, a few things have changed based on the feedback that you all gave me, which I'm very grateful for. We've um, taken it up a notch. Um, but I want to find out what were some of the things that you were able to achieve or what worked for your business during the process? Okay, so um, during the group session, I, I, was, I was able to declare about a lot of things. So first of all, the vision of the company, it was made clear to me because we bring, brainstormed about it. Mm. Mm. And then also, um, so the vision, and then I needed to set um, systems in place. So I needed to, uh, I set goals for myself before we started a coaching session. And then together we were able to brainstorm and at the end of the six weeks I had achieved them. So mm. one of them was making my vision clear and also my um, ideal client because I did not, I did, I was, it was made clear that I, I was not supposed to serve everybody. everybody. I needed to find my I, ideal client and that was accomplished. I was, I think I was able to draw um, a contract because I needed to work with travel guides on right. the ground in Ghana. Mm. And then this was achieved. I was able to build a content plan, which would be used to manage my social platforms. This mm -hmm. was also achieved. 
Mm. And what else? There was a lot that was done. Yeah. And Alma was able <laughs> to brainstorm and also push. I needed that push. I needed that accountability from Alma and from the group. Because mm. we set deadlines for ourselves. And when mm -hmm. we were able to meet, it had to be done. Exactly. And all yeah. these were achieved. And I think that this has had has been a foundation for my success in all of my other businesses yeah because i was given the guidelines the principles and it has stayed with me forever hmm. i'm just so grateful to god and happy <laughs> to hear that you know that the, you were stuck and i know what it feels like to be stuck and then you just need somebody to talk to i mean a lot of times it's not the person who is going to give you the ideas the ideas i need but you just need somebody to pour out. So as you are talking, then they will mm -hmm. help you clarify things. So I do get you. I've been there many times. So yes. I do get you. And I thank God that you are in a place where you are more sure of your business and all. And you've even been able to pivot, you know, mm -hmm. which is and you have, But you also have the ST shop. You know, it, it goes on and on and on. <laughs> so I have an ST shop where I sell um, African waist beads and anklets. Mm. And that's also going well nowadays we are trying to bring everything to a facebook shop okay yeah yeah because facebook now has a shop but i yeah. think that it doesn't cover my geographical area yet okay so we are still on st and we are purely beaded okay and we ship we ship all over the world i think no we ship only to europe Europe, because okay. for the other countries the shipping cost is is very very expensive so it's not uh, advisable yeah yeah I'm sure and you then I also if you want to know more, I also have my local company where we um we help immigrants. So I am mm -hmm. a proud immigrant living in the Netherlands. Yeah. And I have built uh, my goal is to build a community of immigrants where we can help each other to um to integrate properly into the Dutch mm -hmm. system. Yeah. Because many people come here with a lot of vision ideas as to what to achieve. But because of the language barrier, barrier and a lot of different challenges, they settle for something they didn't wish for. Yeah. So that is one of my businesses it's called Holland My Home. Oh, that's a beautiful name. And you know, so speaking of this whole language barrier thing, like I have a lot of respect for like English speaking people who move to, uh, for me, all that. Okay, no, I've been to a few countries that didn't speak my language, but I, I didn't go and live there. So it's different when you're actually living there. I don't know how you do it, but like I have a lot of respect for you. Thank you, Emma. Is goes. my brother able to speak the language now? Well, your brother, I, I keep encouraging him. Um, he, she, he is in school now for the language because it's compulsory. Oh, no. <laughs> but you know, the language, it all boils down to speaking. You can yeah. learn all the grammar. But if but you don't you speak, don't it goes away. Exactly. Exactly. So I, hopefully he will do it and then, but it's possible. He can do it. I, you know, in one of my fantasies, I have moved to Paris with my mm -hmm. my children. My daughter yeah. happens to be called Paris. Yes. So my children and my husband for like a year. In my in my fantasy, there's this contract that I have, and I have to move to Paris. And then I have to, I am forced to learn the language. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I've, I've moved to Paris for a year. So I think that I'm confessing it now. Very soon, I'll be living in Paris with it's my family. possible. Yes, and I'll have no choice but to speak the language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's anyway. possible, Amma. Whatever the mind can conceive, it can oh, achieve. Absolutely. absolutely. So. Yeah. yeah. So um, tell us with your VA business, which is, one of the most active businesses you are running now. What is next for you? How do people reach out to you? How do we find you? Like, I actually know a lot. And in the group, remember, there were people who needed help with this kind yes. of... So people actually need you. People mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. you. So how do we find you? Where do we go to find VA? Um, you said VA Pamford or VA... VA Buffer. But I'm surprised you didn't use Pamford because I no. thought you... So Emma, much. Do you really want to know? I think it's going to cost us a whole day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just, I'll take it as it is. So okay. where do we find you? Okay. So um, VA Buffo, that is V-A 
and Bafo, B A F F O. Mm. We're on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. So please kindly like our page mm. and then we share nuggets of wisdom to help your, um, your company as an entrepreneur. Mm. And if you need our services, you can send us a message on Facebook. And then you can also uh, send us an email that is mami.bafo at gmail.com. Okay. So these are the two places that you can reach us easily and then we will get talking. Okay, great. And you've also signed up for the Learn It Sundays, right? Yes. I believe the admins will reach out to you because I think that people actually need your services. So mm -hmm. they need to know that you exist for them. <laughs> To, to clear I will be there. And, you know yeah so thank you so much thank you so much and before you go i would just like to ask why would you recommend the group coaching for startups and to whom who, which particular woman or perhaps man would you recommend that should join the group coaching for startups okay so um first of all i believe that this group coaching session is for men and women so this is a community for women but if you chance upon this video somewhere at some place and you are a man you are welcome because i believe that it's going to give you great value mm. and the reason why i would recommend this group coaching session for you is that i think that for me as a business woman it has it gave me the the confidence it served as a, a source of foundation to be able to 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 start and start well and then through that i have been able to use that same um, nuggets of wisdom to build other businesses mm. and at a point when i called them i was stuck there was so much noise in my head i i had the idea but i didn't know how to to use the idea properly i had a lot of information I didn't know how to group the information into groups that were going to that was going to serve me well. So if you are especially if you're a startup and this is new to you, it has it has also been new to some of, some of us as entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. We have been through the process. It's a process. So when if you're a startup and you don't know how, where when, who, then Amma Duncan can help you answer all these questions. So he, she will help you frame questions that will help your business. And then she will help you answer these questions. So for, for example, who is your ideal client? Because you mm. can't serve everybody. Mm. Mm. And then you, if you are able to answer this question, then you know whom to serve. You know yeah. where to find that person. Where to find them, exactly. And then you bring them your services. Yeah. So this is the reason why I would recommend. And also, I would want to say that as an entrepreneur, when you come to the community, um, the fabulous woman community, or whether also you are the fabulous woman, and then... Um, there are a lot of free videos mm. that you can watch, you can glean for, from. But you know, free things are free for a reason. Mm. And I mm. would recommend that as, as an entrepreneur, you need to invest in your yeah. craft. Absolutely. It's very, very important. So please invest. The, when, when I look at what Amma charged me at the time and the benefit that I'm gaining now, that was a peanut. Mm. So I will I would recommend that please invest in your craft, pay money because what you will achieve through paying money is different from the free stuff that you are gleaning from. Yeah. Invest mm. in your craft and you will never regret it. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much, Panford, for agreeing to join me this afternoon. It's afternoon in um Poland right now, right? Yes, yes, still uh, afternoon. Okay. It's almost yeah, we four. Have... We need Ghana one hour in the winter okay. and in the okay. summer two hours. Okay. Thank you so much for agreeing to be here and then sharing about your business. And ladies, whether you're watching this live or you're going to be watching the replay. If you need a virtual assistant, if you need someone to help you with your flyers, um, your, your graphics, 
graphics, yes, your emails and websites and blog and all the, you should check out her blog, Africa Culture, African, African Culture. African Culture Trip. Yeah, dot com. And you'll see how consistent and how beautiful and her Instagram page, like she really is the one you want to manage your social media for you. I've seen her. I mean, I'm always getting notifications on Instagram. African culture trip. Posted. African culture. I'm like, yeah, that's my girl. She is so consistent. So you have such a person managing your social media for you. Imagine how much how much time you have your on your hands to actually do the core of your business, which is mm -hmm. action or chasing clients or doing whatever. So definitely check her out and. Also, if you're interested in me helping you to plan, execute, and achieve your business goals, maybe you are stuck at a place in your business or you are aspiring to have your own business, but things are going on all over in your head. If you are willing and committed to make this investment, I'll be more than happy to help you through my group coaching for startups. The next one is starting this week. We have two groups. The Thursday group meets at 6 p.m. GMT every Thursday, and the Saturday group meets at 6 p.m. GMT every Saturday, starting this week. And we'll look at various things about your business, and we'll look at ways that we can structure your business so that you can do it well. It's not going to be easy, of course. It's hard work. That's what business is. But it will take you have a community of Fabulous women. I'm looking at, at those who have signed up right now. They are all so fabulous. And it will be a pleasure to work with you as well to achieve your business goals. So until I meet you again, it is bye from Pamford and Amma. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching.